Hello, welcome to Sifu Leecam Wings three part tape series of Seven Star Praying Mantis. My name is Sifu John Chang, and I will be your host and uh, commentary uh, during this tape series. The first tape is uh, Bumbo Kun, which is the beginning form for Praying Mantis uh, Seven Star. Uh, in this first tape, we're going to uh, go over basic stances, basic punches, uh, basic uh, drills, and conditioning exercises of the Seven Star Praying Mantis system. We're going to begin with some basic warm-up uh, stretches and exercises. First one is wrist shaking, and this one includes, involves just loosening up the wrist to prepare ourselves for different wrist techniques, wrist locking, uh, grabbing, and punching. In this posture, we're going to keep the wrist, arms, shoulders relaxed, and just focus on uh, the task at hand, uh, getting the mind prepared, and just shaking the wrist back and forth. stretching exercise the arm shaking and this is to help increase circulation and, and chi blood flow to the arms and fingertips and just gently nice and relaxed shake the arms up and down up and down the arms are moving in a forward and backward continuous motion nice and relaxed Then you move continuously into a, a shoulder rotation, moving the arms backwards. This is to loosen the shoulders in preparation for punching, blocking, and striking. Alternating direction, moving the arms forward. Arms are crossing, moving the shoulders nice and relaxed. Waist stretching to the left, waist stretching to the right. The waist uh, movements are a very important part of martial arts. We want to stretch this out so as to involve uh, improved flexibility in our movements so not to injure our back. Next way stretch is more of a on a horizontal plane, moving to the left and using the elbows as a guide, and then stretching to the right using the elbows as a guide. If you notice on Sifu Lee Cam Wing's uh, uniform, there is a uh, patch there is the Ching Wu patch. Uh, as you know the Ching Wu Athletic Association in Hong Kong is uh, one of the major centers of uh, martial arts promotion, uh, martial arts uh, centers and training facilities in, in Hong Kong and uh, is, is a, spread, a source of spreading the martial arts throughout the world. Uh, Sifu Lee Kam Wing serves as uh, the vice president of the Ching Wu Athletic Association in Hong Kong. Next exercise here is the hip stretch, 
we want to rotate the hips in an inward, then outward fashion, alternating between the left and right leg. Again, keeping the hips nice and relaxed. Next stretch is the ankle stretch and placing the toe on the ground, uh, rotating clockwise. Then changing to the left foot, rotating clockwise. You want to move in this nice circular fashion so as to loosen up the ankle and also the knee joints. In this stretch, we want to place the hands on the knees, gently rotating to the right and then to the left, clockwise and then counterclockwise. This is a side stretch, stretching to the right so as to stretch out the groin muscles. You should feel a nice gentle pull in the groin area. Alternate to the left. Also stretching out your quadricep muscles, your thigh muscles. Gently pulling on the ankles and pulling back so you feel that stretch in the anterior part of your thigh. As in any martial arts style, the uh, different stances form the foundation of the style. What Master Lee is demonstrating here is the Ma Bo, also known as the horse dance. The left sided and the right sided. <coughs> However, the uh, motion here is a symmetrical uh, motion in terms of balance is evenly distributed 50% uh, to the left and also 50% to the right. The next dance is Dan San Bo, the left side. 70% of the weight is distributed to the front leg, whereas 30% is distributed to the rear leg. And you see 30, uh, the, the rear leg is not totally straight, probably about 10 degrees in flexion. Okay, this is also known as the hill climbing stance, also known as Dan San Bo. The next stance is seven star stance, Chat Sing Bo. The weight is distributed 80 to 90% in the rear leg, 10% in the front leg. Notice that the, front, the point of contact to the ground is the left heel. Again, this is the seven star stance, Chut Sing Bo. The next stance we'll demonstrate is Tan Ta Bo, also known as collapsing stance. Here, the right leg is extended. Uh, the rear leg carries, again, 80% 80, 80 of the weight. The right uh, leg carries about 20% of the weight. The, alternatively, on the other side, uh, the Tan Tat Bo, again, you know, it's known as collapsing stance. 80% of the weight is on the right leg, 10%, eight, uh, about 20% on the left leg. The next stance is what we call the circle entering stance, which is Yat Wan Bo. Left side. In this stance, the right knee is placed close in contact with the left ankle. <clears throat> that was the, the left circle entering stance. The right circle entering stance involves uh, flexion of the knee to about 90 degrees, the left knee uh, contacting or slightly touching the right ankle. The next stance is Gua Fu Bo, tiger riding stance. Here, 90% of the weight is distributed in the rear leg and 10% in the front leg. Again, Gua Fu Bo. This uh, stance enables easy kicking uh, and different transitions as in retreating and advancing. Next stance would be Lao Ma Bo, which is the cross leg stance. Here involves a twisting motion of the torso, uh, the left knee touching the posterior aspect of the right knee, and also the other side. 
Blau Mampo. This action is used in twisting uh, and generating power uh, in offensive and defensive fashion. And the last basic of the horse dances is the Yun Hao Bo. It's a monkey stance. Here the weight is actually distributed uh, quite uh, centrally uh, with the rear leg and the front leg slightly flexed. This technique, uh, this stance is used in several techniques in which involves grabbing and different transitional movements that we'll see later on in our future tapes. Now, if you've already learned your basic stances, the next step are utilizing the stances and what we call stance drills, in, in, including movement. I feel like this is a very extremely important drill, and so does Sifu Lee, uh, to develop uh, dexterity and movement in your footwork. You'll see different stances involved with the horse stance, and now is the forward stance, moving forward and backwards. This is the tiger riding stance, moving backwards, retreating, shifting the leg backwards and forwards. The stance drill, horse stance drill, shifting to the right and also to the left, involving elbow strikes. It's nice to practice this drill up and down the floor of your school. Next stance drill is the forward stance. Involving a right upward block and a reverse punch. Alternating between the left and right arms. Tiger riding stance, retreating in a ready position. As you practice more and more, you'll feel more comfortable in movements, moving forward and backwards. Getting used to the timing will be very important. In the seven star system, there are also uh, some basic kicks that we need to uh, be familiar with. This kick is called Bai Mun Tui, meaning door shutting kick. In this posture, Master Lee lifts up the right knee and extends out his right leg in a snapping motion. In other circles, uh, this is also known as a roundhouse kick. You want to lift the lead leg, lifting up the knee and the lead leg and executing a snapping motion at a 45 degree angle making contact to your target. Next kick is called Sub Chi Tui and it's the cross kick. You want to lift up the right knee or the lead leg knee and snap out the kick. Making contact with the instep of your foot onto your target which is usually the groin area. When you practice these kicks you want to alternate right and left this next kick is called Jatwe, meaning leg bumping kick. It's also known as a shin kick, uh, lifting up the right knee, shooting the leg straight out, making contact with the heel and the inside of the foot. Again, we're using the, the rear leg, not the lead leg in this kick, and it shoots straight out. This is the 12 keyword formula as interpreted by Sifu Lee Kam Wing. Uh, these 12 concepts are in, seen in the different various forms of the seven star praying mantis system. Uh, these are basically your building blocks to develop good fighting skills uh, in the seven star mantis system.
first element is ao, meaning hook. Lao, grab. Choi, meaning pluck. And we add a punch as an ending element. Gua, meaning upward block. Dew, intercept with a mantis hook. Bung, meaning back fist. Jimling, meaning making contact and cling as so as to stick to your opponent. Dip, meaning tag. Gao, meaning lean onto your opponent. Shim, meaning dodge. Tang la, meaning to bounce. The next is variations of the mantis hook of the dew that we've already covered. And uh, this involves making uh, a mantis hook with the last three fingers, pulling in the three fingers tightly, supporting the forefinger, the index finger, with the thumb. You want to do this exercise to develop forearm strength. This is a double mantis hook in a horse stance with a pulling action. This, is, this posture is the double mantis hook in a seven star stance. Notice that the rear mantis hook is at Sifu Lee's shoulder level. This is a mantis hook with a counter intercepting hook. The left hand is placed on the right wrist. Master Lee will now demonstrate the form Bombokun, meaning crushing step, uh, collapsing step. This is a basic form of the seven star praying mantis system, which is said to be created by Wang Long, the founder of our style. In this form, there are 12 basic keyword elements found inside, which forms the core of the seven star praying mantis system. Although this is a basic form of the seven star praying mantis system, one has to understand that the devel developer and creator of our style was actually an advanced practitioner at the time of creation. So even though this is a beginning form, it is actually maybe an advanced form in other styles.
We will now demonstrate the first section of Bumbo Kyun. Now we'll break up the different components of the form. Okay. Uh, Master, Master Lee is in the ready position. He will step back into the left leg. Left leg stepping back and stepping into the right tiger riding stance with a right straight punch. As he punches out, he hits his left palm, stepping back into a left tiger riding stance. And this posture is known as praying mantis catches the cicada. Left hand parries back to the left palm strike, stepping forward to the right forward stance, the right straight punch, grabbing, jumping up, single leg stance, and right back fist. Tang. And now we will demonstrate the form from the rear, stepping back with his left leg, stepping forward with the right cat stance, parry, right straight punch, the right leg steps back into the left tiger riding stance and the posture is known as praying man's catch the cicada left palm strike as you move forward to the left forward stance and then right forward stance right elbow strike right back fist section two rear plucking double arm bar hook alao choi uppercut left palm strike right straight punch pull back double arm bar waist chop back fist double mantis block into a hammer fist strike. Reverse angle of section two, rear plucking, double arm bar, hook, alao choi, uppercut, left palm strike, right straight punch, double arm bar, waist chop, back fist, double mantis block, hook into a hammer fist strike. Third section will be the tip cow, Twisting, uprooting kick with double mantis hook, mantis catch a cicada, double kick, mantis strike, double arm wrist lock, right uppercut, sweeping, reverse direction, third section. double wrist locks, uppercut, sweeping action into a collapsing stance. Fourth section, uh, continue with the sweeping, left uppercut, back fist, hooking, right straight punch into mantis catch a cicada, and that completes bumbo cue. Reverse angle, sweep, sweep, waist chopping, Left roundhouse, left back fist, hook, right straight punch, mantis set catches cicada.
We're now going to demonstrate some highlighted movements from the form Bumbo Kyun. Uh, this first uh, motion is called Shim, meaning to dodge. This is a wonderful uh, posture to practice uh, left and right, alternating back and forth. Uh, this is to evade against an oncoming strike or a kick. This develops your footwork to become more agile. We're also including a simultaneous block and strike. Shim to dodge. Waist chopping involves grabbing underneath and chopping at the waist, extending your left heel out into a seven star stance. This is essentially a throw, it doesn't take too much energy when performed properly. Next, we're going to go over some applications from the form Bumbo Kyun. Master Lee does a single hook and a back fist. This is straight out of the form hook and back fist. Hooking with the three fingers and attacking with its back fist or forearm, attacking the opponent's neck. Chuck Sing Sun Ju So. Next application is the eye poke. This is a variation off of Mantis Catches Cicada. You want to secure the forearms with a double Mantis hook, pulling and plucking downward. Followed by an eye poke. Again, this is a variation off of the double mantis hook. This one is a counter intercepting against a grab. The opponent grabs Sifu Lee's right hand, and this is involving a wrist lock. Yeah. Next application is uh, demonstrating the dodge against the punch. And again, notice Sifu Lee's uh, agile footwork, evading the punch, parrying, and striking simultaneously. Next is another variation of Mantis catching the cicada. He secures the opponent's oncoming punch with a double Mantis hook. Uprooting kick, uh, Sifu Lee uses a mantis hook and uproots the opponent's bleed leg. Here Sifu Lee is uprooting the opponent's lead leg with his rear leg. He moves with his left leg and uproots. Tip cow. Next application is tip cow. You want to lean, make contact, and then elbow break. A contact, elbow break, and then lean as to throw the opponent. Thank you, Choi. Next application 
is called the belly caving punch. Here Sifu Lee uses a guat to block the upward strike and moves in to execute a belly caving punch. Next application is the waist chop. Here Sifu Lee sets up the opponent by doing an Ao Lao Choi and does the waist chop, executing with the left seven star stance. This one is called wrist seizing, and as you notice, it's difficult for the opponent to strike Sifu Li using this technique. He seizes the wrist, grabs, seizes the wrist again, making it difficult for the opponent to attack Sifu Li. This next application is demonstration of Alao Choi. Hook, grab, pluck, and punch. Next is application of the Gua upward block. The gua is usually followed by a reverse punch. Next is demonstration of the bung, back fist. Sifu Lee hooks with the mantis hook and executes back fist to the neck. We're still executing the bung. Parrying down, and back fist. Now we're going to execute the tip cow. After the series of bungs. Tip cow. Grab, elbow break. Grab, hooking, elbow break. Be very careful when practicing with your opponent for this technique. Next application is the shim, it's a dodge. And you've seen this earlier in the videotape, but uh, I'd like to emphasize the importance of footwork in the Mantis Seven Star system.
This is a useful drill in developing speed, accuracy, and your footwork and hand-eye coordination. When you practice this, make sure you practice left and right, alternating your partners. Practicing slow, then speeding up and going as fast as you can. Next one is called Tung Na. And this really works on the footwork, developing lightness and agility in the feet. Shooting out with a right jumping kick cross kick and an eye poke. What we're going to demonstrate is Chin Si Sao and actually this one is for increasing the wrist strength and grabbing techniques and to increase the strength in your fingers. It involves grabbing and twisting. Each hand is wrapped on top of each other, so your opponent's hand is wrapped on top of yours, and yours is wrapped on top of the opponent's hand. You want to shift the weight forwards and backwards. This really works on strengthening your wrists and developing stance work, shifting forward and backwards. Assumption. A simpler application of this in wrist strengthening is just the single wrist strengthening. And this involves the ducal for both opponents shifting back and forth. Practicing slow, hooking with the last three fingers of the lead arm, the slight pulling back motion. You want to practice with left and right. Next is three star blocking involving the kick. This exercise here is designed to strengthen the forearms and also the legs and sweeps. Traditionally, you want to use the uh, formula yeah, Dit Da Jiao, the, the traditional herbal formulation to uh, use after you doing this type of drill so that to avoid bruising. Three star blocking. Next two person training drill is the Alao Choi, hook, grab, pluck, punch, and working on the inside gate. One opponent's working on the inside gate, and the other opponent is working on the outside gate. Alternating back and forth, developing your hand eye coordination, developing your grabbing and plucking skill. You want to start off slow and eventually develop it, your speed to go much faster. It's a training drill involving the gua, the upward block. This also strengthens the forearms alternating, Sifu Lee is alternating the left and right upward block and reverse punch.
Since 1984, INI Sports has featured the largest selection of paintball equipment, martial arts supplies, boxing gear, and custom knives. And with discounts from 10 to 60% off, there's no reason to shop anywhere else. So stop by or call us today. Visit any of our three Southern California locations seven days a week with stores to serve you in West LA, City of Industry, and Carson. Or call 310-715-6800. INI Sports, we've got what you need.